Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Radical Success Institute. We're doing a live today. It is your girl, your coach, your cheerleader, Doreen Rainey. And I am so incredibly excited to have with me a very special guest, a very special woman that if you don't know her, you want to make a point to get to know this woman right here. She came into my atmosphere um, maybe three or four years ago, my husband actually sent me an article about her because he's like, "Woo, this is someone that I can be inspired from, motivated from, and get to know. And so she is going to be a speaker at the upcoming Get Radical Women's Conference happening in Atlanta, March 20th through the 22nd. And this is just a little sneak peek of what you can expect from the incredible session, the incredible teaching that she'll be doing, as well as getting to know a little bit more about her and who she is. So let's give a big radical welcome to Kelly Edwards. Hi, Kelly. Hey, good day. How are you? <laughs> oh, doing great, doing great. Um, we've had a couple of discussions before um, at previous events. You've been a guest on my podcast, and I continue to be inspired by the fact that you made a bold decision years ago to live out your big dream. And what was that moment like for you? And what do you say to people who feel stuck in terms of going after their dream? Well, I know based off my thought process, my ambition, my determination and resilience, um, being trapped in a box was just like, I was, I was never born to be like that. I was always talking too much in class. I was always um, getting noticed for uh, doing things, not the straight and narrow path. And so I took that from my childhood to my adulthood and knowing that the world was mine to explore, um, to, to uh, feel tangibly through my actions, through my travels. And um, I decided to turn that into a career. <laughs> Yes, yes. And for those of you who are getting to know Kelly, she's a travel journalist. She's a pilot. She's a scuba diver. And I don't, I, not just the regular kind of scuba diver, but the, the deep, you know, you can snorkel and then, and then you can snooba and then you can go where things just get black. So oh, yeah. <laughs> She's an explorer at heart, and she's the host um, of her very own show on the Travel Channel, Mysterious Islands. So, Kelly, where did that love for adventure come from? Well, I grew up taking road trips with my parents. Um, we couldn't afford to get on a plane and, and travel around the world, but what my parents did give me was, was what they could afford, which was free, the great outdoors, <laughs> you know, and a full gas tank um, to take road trips to show me things that were immediately accessible to us. And uh, I grew up camping and going on hikes, um, many road trips. To this day, my parents are road warriors. They just told me the other day, they're like, surprise, look what we got. It's like a brand new 25 foot RV with like an expansion and three <laughs> Green TVs. I'm like, whoa. They're like, All right, do you want to you wanna relive these childhood things that we used to do and go on a world trip with us? I'm like, oh my gosh, being stuck on the road with my parents for a week as a kid. You had no choice as an adult. You're like, oh, if you guys want to meet me somewhere on a plane? We can do that. Um, but because of that early exposure, I knew that that was a first step and that there was so much more beyond um, what they were able to show me. And I have really supportive parents and they said, um, this is what we could offer you, but just know that there is a world beyond this and we want you to explore that. And so as an adult, you know, I got my passport and I started exploring the world um, in a multitude of ways. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, and in that process, building a brand to go along with that. And so many people are looking at how can they take something they love, they enjoy, they're passionate about and turn that into an opportunity for them to live out that dream, that purpose, that process and build a brand, make money, have a business as well. 
And so I know at the conference, you're going to be sharing more about your journey, how you turn, you know, a tripod and a camera into magazine covers and television shows and profiles. And you'll just have to come to the conference to hear that story. But when you talk about um, success, we at the Institute say that success is about defining it for yourself and getting the guts to go after it. So now, how do you define success? What does that look like for you? You know what's funny? Success for me, it doesn't immediately show itself. Success is about having the patience and the foresight mm -hmm. to see that your dream can, and your ideas can become executed and fulfilled through self-work. It's the discipline that you do within yourself. Um, I think people, we're in a, a, a place in the world now where everything's immediate gratification. And even people who follow me on social media and they'll see the magazine covers and the TV shows and they're like, wow, she came out of nowhere. It's like, no, this was 10 years in the making. And because I saw what was possible, I was okay that everyone didn't immediately understand that, right? Yeah. But when they saw it was an avalanche, and I was just sit sitting back like, it's about time. <laughs> It's about time that everyone else caught on. So for me, success is something that I see at the light of, as the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, success is not overnight. And people who truly understand that have a shot at actually seeing it. It's those who give up after not seeing the immediate results who will never actually taste what it is. And people who actually obtain success appreciate it more because they understand the path that it took to really get there. Yeah. And when I talk about success, I always share that success is two parts. It's who you are on the inside and who you're bold enough to become. Yes. And then what you externally experience because of what you've done on the inside. Absolutely. And so who have you become in this process? What has happened um, in that internal transformation that has really helped over the course of these 10 years, stay focused, stay committed, stay resilient to now experience what you have now and for what's to come? Well, what's interesting is that I could have never prepared for what came. I always knew that it was a possibility of it happening. But there were so many things I had to learn about myself in the process of, of success, um, how to deal with the business side of things. The only thing I want to do is fly planes and scuba dive and climb mountains and explore the world and have these experiences. The business elements that came with that, um, the social media, the press, the constant questions, the constant you know, people who always want to need something from you. I wasn't ready for that. So for me, I had to take a lot of internal reflection on setting boundaries, mm -hmm. knowing um, what I was capable of and what was okay to not be able to touch or, or want to um, necessarily accomplish. And um, just to really challenge myself to, I had talked myself up in my head all these years to really be that person. Um, I always want to say that I don't want to just be what you see on TV and magazines, but if you were to meet me in person, that you're getting the same Kelly. And that's something that I work truly hard at every day. And that's the good, bad, and the ugly. So transparency is really important to me. And that's helped me in my journey because I don't have to worry about um, showing up to be someone what people think. I'm just being myself. And so it's a 360. Yes. Yes. And I think what you said is so key um, for anybody, no matter what next level you're moving to, that ability to set boundaries. Yes. That ability to be okay with saying no, even to things that are good opportunities, even to things that, you know, you probably would enjoy doing, but it just doesn't fit into the sphere yes. of what your priorities are. Absolutely. And being okay with how people may see you or perceive you because of that. And so how do you deal with um, being in social media, being out there, um, knowing that people with a computer can say anything, do anything, and even in setting your boundaries, how is it that you manage some of the naysayers or some of those who always have something to say? Well, it's, it's interesting because I'm from the South Side of Chicago in San Bernardino, California, and I'm a black woman. So 
at the end of the day, whether I'm on TV or not, I'm still Kelly Edwards, the person. So I demand respect because I give respect. So if people talk crazy or anything like that, I know that's a part of the territory, but fortunately because of my platform, it is a very positive, inspiring mm -hmm. um, message that I constantly put out there. If you have anything negative to say about what I'm doing, I just see that as you need help beyond what I'm trying to do. And it's I'm not to not take it personal because if you're mad at me because I'm learning how to do things and traveling the world, then you have other issues beyond this. So I've learned not to take things personal yeah. because there's been times where people are like, well, you know, you're always in the water, but we never see a photo with your hair wet. I'm like, have you seen the videos though? <laughs> you know, there's proof in the pudding for everything. Like there's, there's nothing fraudulent about who I am. Yes, mm -hmm. the perfect picture makes the Instagram. But if you look at the stories, if you look at the television shows, you'll see that I'm very submersed and in, in emerged in everything that I do. And so I think that it's important for me to show up and be ready for anything and also to respectfully um let people know their place yeah. um, social media is a place where yeah it's a free-for-all but you know i make it very well known if you come to my page that you're dealing with the person and i don't turn off chicago or san Bernardino. um and and that's okay and i think and it allows other people to see the example that maybe i should think twice yeah you know, yeah because I'm a very positive person. And so Absolutely. at the end of the day, like I, there's, there's no need for that in this space. And I'm very protective of my energy. And so blocked. Yeah. I love your platform. It is positive. It's such not just inspiring, but it causes people to think about what could an adventurous life look like for me. Yeah. Might not be wanting to fly planes or scuba dive. And I saw that you're, you're on bikes now and uh, motorcycles, motorbikes. But how can people just add their own adventure into their own life? What are some tips you have to do that? You know what? I, I always tell people adventure is not about climbing Mount Everest and being dropped off in the middle of a deserted island and you have to survive on your own. Adventure is anything that you don't normally do in your day to day that you are curious about doing. An adventure can be going on that solo trip by yourself adventure could be going on that hiking trail that you've heard about in your city adventure can be you don't know how to swim and you're 52 years old but you heard that the ymca gives free lessons adventure is just about stepping outside of your norm whatever that may be but it's something that you want to experience and that is it's as simple as that mm -hmm. i am an extreme adventurous you don't have to do the things that i do to qualify for an adventure and that's what I try to share with people. That one thing that you're curious about that you don't know anyone else doing, you may be embarrassed or you don't think you're capable of doing, just take the first step and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at the conference, our theme is purpose, freedom, and legacy. And I know we don't have time to talk about all three of those, but tell me what does legacy mean to you? What comes to mind? when you think about your legacy or legacy in general? Well, you know what's interesting about that? I've, been, I've really been thinking about that a lot lately. And I've been blessed to leave a mark behind so far. You know, I'm, I'm on television. I have commercials. I'm in print. So my great-great-grandchildren will be able to see the things that I've done. And that makes me extremely proud. But beyond my direct lineage, the fact that I know that when I leave this earth, that I have inspired and motivated the masses, that is enough. If no one ever spoke my name again, mm -hmm. that I have touched one person in this world. Yeah. And that's what's important to me. And so when I first started this journey, it was very much for the benefit of myself to see what I can accomplish. Mm -hmm. But once my accomplishments were starting to be seen. I realized it was no longer about me solely. I was put here to let other people know that they can do it too. And that's more important than anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the reasons I'm so excited to have you at the conference is because, you know, I know a lot about your story and I'm excited for the attendees who are coming to learn more about that 10 year process. 
Um, you are in an industry that's not known for people of color. You're in an industry not known for black women to be in these roles, flying these claims, you know, doing these excursions, being dropped off on these islands and telling these stories. And so I know that your journey has come with um, some challenges and some barriers and just being someone who's leading that charge in an industry that hasn't had this look before, this vibe before, these people before. And I think for the women who are gonna be at this conference, they are gonna learn so much about themselves through your story of how you've been able to infiltrate this industry and just, you know, get taking over and, and showing up in a big way. And so whether you're out there and you're a woman in a new industry, you're a minority in an industry, or you feel like you're coming into a place that's saturated, I know that Kelly is gonna be able to share with you very specific insights to help you maneuver that process. Um, and so Kelly, tell us, what are you most excited about in terms of coming to the conference? You know, I'm excited to be in a room of people who want more for themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be surrounded by people who know that they can do more than what they've already accomplished and willing to take that on. Um, those are people who are fearless to me and they choose to fear less, which is what I always say. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is a first step that is so in important and incredible and just to be able to pour into people who have a similar mindset or looking to take that step to try to get there. I just want to, I want that connection. And yeah. That. Yes. Yes. Well, we wanted to give you a little sneak peek into what we're going to be talking about at the Get Radical Conference. Um, you know, go to getradicalconference.com. You'll get all the registration information. And before we sign off, Kelly, share with us you know, a piece of advice that you've gotten over the years that you have lived by that has resonated with you and that you know could be helpful for those tuning in today? You know, it's actually been a quote um, more than advice that I've been given because, you know, I, I navigate an industry where I'm a first in a lot of things. So it's hard for people to really give me the advice. Um, but the quote that I live by and I remind myself all the time is everything that you want is on the other side of fear. And that is so important to me. Um, I do things scared all the time. You know, people look at me like, oh, you're some- Say, say that again. I do things scared all the time. <laughs> okay, seriously. And once I have proven to myself that it, I can do it after I've done it, I'm like, just do it one more time. Just do it one more time. And next thing you know, you have accomplished so many things that seem so foreign and it becomes familiar. Yes, yes. I love that on the other side of fear. Thank you so much, Kelly. I'm excited to see you at the conference. Those of you who are VIPs get a little extra time with Kelly, some extra Q&A. Um, and so until then, thank you so much and I'll see you at the conference.